so then, the achievement API leak uh, about Kaz Algar pretty much being confirmed for the next expansion. Now, you might be wondering what this uh, piece of art is uh, here. This piece of art, I believe, is from Battle for Azeroth. Um, this has been floating around so many leaks. Most of them have been saying it's like World of Warcraft Stormbreak or something like that. Um, there is another alternative version of this, but it looks like it's AI generated. Like yes. you look at the dwarf's face and that is some mangled stuff. We'll get to that later. Um, so other than fake leaks, there are the real leaks. And this is Heroic Edition Algarian Stormrider, which is almost certainly going to be... Um, you know, the, the thing that we'll get. Now, that being said, I believe uh, there is an elemental. Uh, there's an elemental that was found called the Storm uh, a Storm Rider. Um, I, saw I some don't people... know if the elemental was called that. Uh, I think, no, I think people are just assuming it was the call that. Oh, okay. I don't think that was well, I saw some people talk about there being a Storm Rider elemental in like Wrath or something. And then there is a like a BlizzCon promotional image of um there's an elemental that looks kind of stormy and i think maybe was it maybe taliesin said they believe it's a storm rider i think something along those lines i think i'm not entirely certain i think i saw it from groxy and twitter yeah. i i was on holiday so i saw it from somebody in twitter when i was in the airport yeah. actually one of the fun things is there's a lot of Wait, um, did I? who knows but there's a lot of news has happened this week <laughs> Uh, and the last week that I basically I'm going to be reacting to actually quite a little a lot of this live. I know the the like from the video we mm. published. I know the like Castle Gar stuff, but all of like the lore books and things like that I haven't a clue. So look forward to me reading about Elune and Green Dragons in the Dream for the first time. I'm very excited. I act, no, help. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I liked it. Well, it'll be fun to get to. We'll see. So uh, <laughs> Algarian, uh, you know Algar, Kaz Algar. Um, that all makes sense. Um, here's the deal with Kazalgar, just to quickly get you up to speed. There's the observational report, Earthen, which is a, a document found in Ultiman at the start of this expansion. Uh, basically tells the story of um, a whole bunch of like Curse of Flesh shit, but basically there's this big fissure in the earth, and a bunch of Earthen go into that fissure. Um, this fissure is in a place called Sector AR938. Um, uh, but anyway, time passes... Um, they get a bit more fleshy, and uh, when the Titans look at, or the you know, keepers look at them. They notice, hang on a second, these Earthen have kind of turned into dwarves. They're calling their home Kazalgar, and their culture is the same as other dwarves. These dwarves have never met. How are these cultures that are highly similar? popping up, uh, sort of independent from each other? You know, totally in isolation. Um, so this basically means, right, somewhere uh, in a fissure a dwarven culture appeared. Uh, of course, you think about dwarves, you think about uh, dwarves in a big hole somewhere, you kind of think of like Casa Doom, and you're like, hell yeah! Dwarves mining shit, very good. So um, basically, that's all we know. There are dwarves in a place called Kazalgar in a big fissure somewhere. Uh, now, where is that somewhere? Who knows? Probably other side of Azeroth, considering we haven't seen these dwarves, and we've seen quite a lot of Azeroth. Or very underground. Or in, very underground. In somewhere that was buried um, by Titans or something along, or by the Keepers, because obviously the Keepers could move shit all day long with giants and stuff, the shipping. Yeah. They may have reshipped parts of it at times. Um, oh yes, this is the thing that does make it seem less like an elemental. So there are some data yeah. mine dwarven cosmetics. One of them is the Stormrider's uh, Stormhammers. So it's Algarian Stormrider. This guy's a, you know, a Stormrider's Stormhammers. So, um, you know, maybe Stormrider is the, you know, dwarf on a griffin with a big storm. Hang on, I need to press F6 real quick. Uh-oh. Because Azeroth small A. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. Quality control's gone to the shitter. You, 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 let you, you get us to test your game for free and still can't even spell your own planet, right? S-M-H. Shaking I think that's, yeah, that's it. S-M-H. Um, also, some Wildhammer Scout and Regal Griffin Riders headgear um, has been found. A Dwarven Crown Splitter, which, um, sorry, looks like a, you know, a pleasantly gruesome uh, thing to be hitting the head of, or with, um, that costs 450 Traders Tender, and we will talk about those tenders I'm not later. getting that, that's for sure. <laughs> yep, there's also the Dynamic Flight is actually enabled for Griffins. Um, if impacting. I was going to read them out. There's no point. Basically, a shitload of griffins. So, what does all uh, what does all of this basically mean? Um, it means that the heroic edition mount for the next expansion is from Kazalgar. This then means Kazalgar is going to be a place in the next expansion. Um, now, 
As, uh, as I said in the video where we first covered this, the Imperial Quillen was the collector's edition mount for Mists of Pandaria. Now, Imperial Quillen, Mogu thing. Do the Mogu play a big role in Mists of Pandaria? Yes, but from the Imperial Quillen, could you suddenly know what Garrosh would do in patch 5.4? The answer is no. So uh, this is not something to just be like, ah, oh, yeah, we know what the expansion is, it's just dwarves. No, there's probably going to be more. I do think the dwarves will play, uh, play a role, though. I mean, that's the Major thing. Role. Yeah, if, if it's dwarves, if it's that fisher, then it's immediately old gods, right? It has to be. It's old gods. Well, what does old gods mean? And then you go like, almost like a mind map, you mean to go, well, here's old gods. And then where does that like go off to? That goes off to like everything else that's connected. That goes even back to, goes back to Saltath, goes back to Riddicron, goes back to the fact that the old gods are, you know, maybe still alive. Maybe there's like a fifth one that's hidden, all those kind of things immediately there. So you kind of go, yeah, just it's, it, it's a starting point. Mm. And that's every expansion has... Since I, you know, more or less since Mists, every expansion has been has started a very different way that it's ended. Yeah. Obviously, you look at the, the first four expansions, you go, well, all right, well, what's the cracky? You know, Deathwing, I'll oh, kill him. Arthas, will you kill him? Elden, will you kill him? Asterisk, uh, we'll bring him back to life when we need him again. But, like, fundamentally, it's since Mists has always been, like, a load of curveballs in the middle, which I actually never really thought about too much before. Maybe there's something to that. Yeah, now, uh, Still Solo says, uh, so tired of underground zones, it better be more dwarves with great halls like Lord of the Rings, less sour like caverns. Um, I would imagine so, yeah. I, I think they, um, you know, they, they will be able to, uh, and actually, we'll, we'll get to that because um, there is some pretty cool art um, in this doc as we keep on scrolling down. So, Matt, do us the honor of scrolling down, down, down. Number one, here's some Wildhammer Griffin roasts um, that are mm. new, that those just exist in the game. This guy, um, El 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 Elstrom here, um, did a whole bunch of Grim Batol restoration work. Basically saying, this is what Grim Batol, the former capital of the Wildhammer clan, uh, would look like if it hadn't been abandoned and, uh, you know, fall into ruin and all the bad stuff that happened to Grim Batol. Um, and basically, um, there's more below that um, that's sort of higher res. Ooh. Yeah, and it's like, hey, this stuff looks pretty damn cool. Um, you know, big dwarven halls. Uh, so... Would I be too worried about a Zyrlac Cavern thing um, if it feels like, you know, if it's if it's feeling like Khazad Doom, you know, then I'm like, hell yeah, let's, let's go. Um, if it's just a mole hole full of comedy moles, uh, then that would be lame. Because <laughs> Zyrlac Cavern was pretty lame because it was just a comedy mole hole. I think that's exactly what you uh, want to see out of, like, the, the, the Metzen era. You want it to be less. Here's something goofy. And yeah, hello, we're the little wool people. Yeah, I, I don't know. We like sniffing things. Yeah. I think, you know, Matson will be like, ah, at least Old Warcraft says to me, it's like, no, these are like a fucking ancient band of gnarly, I don't know, gnarly dudes. Yeah, I think people kind of missed the, missed the boat on Murlocs. Because I think Murlocs have become like cutesy and cutified over time, but and they obviously they always sounded like they did. Do you remember fucking were, gar Guardsman Thomas? Is that what his name was? And Alvin Farce? <laughs> You're like, where did the guardsmen go? <laughs> and you just find a piece of meat. They're like, this piece of meat was the guardsman. <laughs> yeah, they were horrifying. Like, yeah, horrifying. and that's the thing because the Niffin are pretty well executed. Again, I think they're like pretty compelling as a people. They have a lot of like the detail to how they live their lives down. Yeah, really damn no, bad. No, but they're all wrong for Warcraft and boring. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying. I'm, try I'm trying to highlight that fucking point, dumbass. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to highlight the point that they're very well executed, and because I see people like actually kind of like them, go, yeah, yeah. If that's the thing you you like, then that's like that's great. They they were executed very well. Some of the parts were fantastic. Yeah. I actually liked a lot of like their smaller stories and stuff. Well, if this but was the point uh, was the, that it was not. What if, if this was like the underground expansion to Fay Farm, and what we were talking about is a cozy farming game, or you know some some wholesome game in the Nintendo Switch, like. The, the Niffin would be fantastic for that. But instead, it's like the Niffin got roasted by Farak and didn't do anything after that. Oh, man, Doxon, you've, you've, you've really put the, like, the nail on the head there. Imagine a patch in Mr. Mandari about the Grummel. <laughs> yeah, I still that, hate, there we go. I still hate that I don't have a transmog mount that doesn't have those no little bastards in the back of it. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, but there, yeah. 
Nail has been hit in the head. Also, here's some cool Wildhammer um, clan backpacks that a previous Blizzard concept artist uh, worked on, um, and a, a rucksack concept uh, done by uh, James Neal here nice. as well below. So, just an example of some rewards. I think they all look pretty cool. So, overall then, Kazalgar as a place in the new expansion is the thumb up or the thumb down. For me, the thumb goes up. 